Hi, I'm Rokaj, your digital lifestyle expert, and I'm going to show you how to transfer VHS videos to DVD. So you've got your graduation video from 1986, and you want to preserve it forever digitally because you just have to remember what that hairdo looked like. Hey, I feel your pain. And I'm going to show you how that's done. First of all, you take your VHS tape and you put it into a VHS player. May have been a while since I've done that. All right, now, you got to ask yourself, how am I going to get it over to DVD? Well, you're going to need a DVD recorder. This particular unit here, though, is both of them in one. The prices come way down on them, and they're awesome. You simply do that, you'll follow the on-screen prompts, and it is actually a one-button dub in either direction. You put a blank DVD, in, a recordable blank DVD, of course, into the DVD side, you rewind the tape to the beginning, and then you hit one, uh, one button dub. That's what Sony calls it on theirs. Now, you may not have that, but you have an old VHS player, and you do have a DVD recorder. Let me show you how to wire that together. First of all, we want to take a look over here at the back of it. And now, while it does have some more modern connections or higher quality connections, they don't always go out or go in the way you want them to be. So, for instance, here, line out does not have... Uh, line out here, um, we can go out in SV, we can go out in component, we can go out in composite, but here on the second piece of equipment, the burner up top, it only allows in in the three wire configuration with the RCAs. So we're simply going to respect that. And it's going to be right for red, white for left channel audio, and yellow for video. Now up here, we're going to follow the same type of configuration here. We're going to go the video in with the yellow. Actually, I'm going to just do it here visually better. The red for right channel audio, the white for left channel audio, and the yellow for video. Now, now we're all wired up. You just bring up, you bring up the picture, and here you go. I'll give you a couple of tricks. All right, here's how you do it. You take your player, your VHS, and you find where you want to start the dub or the transfer, the copy. You push play, and then at that point, pause, all right? You want that to be five seconds at least before you actually want it to start. Then what you do is you put your blank media in the DVD recorder or burner, and you get that onto record pause. You unpause it on the play side, wait the five seconds, unpause the record, got a nice clean start point on your dub, and you're ready to go. That high school reunion will be preserved forever, so your grandchildren's grandchildren can make fun of you. Like me, Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert. Say him, stream you later!